how they come back from a 171 point loss and not just that the deeper broader conversation about what they do next Adam Simpson their coach under pressure was in a forthright mood during the week you're still getting a sense of fulfillment from the role though oh it's difficult to get that now um, I feel very protective at the moment and I want to support my players and my club I'm not sure if that's fulfillment but that's leadership I suppose so he talked about leadership there and you can understand how much pressure's on him at the moment, Lloydie, but what about the leadership from the rest of the club above him? It's a good question. I think the, where I admired David Barham uh, you know, 10 months ago was that he, he did things without fear or favour. He didn't care what it was going to look like or he was just what would be best for the football club. And I think that uh, if you just want to make the odd move and think, OK, we'll move on our fitness coach and try and think that's going to appease people. You're not doing what's right. I think too many people get, uh, it's a, in football clubs just worry about saving themselves. Yeah, who, it's like being on the Titanic. Who, who can we save here? And I think West Coast have to do this properly. And, and, but who's it going to be? Who is that person within the West Coast Eagles who says, come on, are we really doing this properly? How's our development looking? How has our fitness been? OK, well, he's gone if he was in charge of fitness. But, um, you, know, you know, Luke Shuey, did we keep him with contracts? Who's done that well? Trevor Nisbet, has he been here too long? Is there anyone within the West Coast Eagles which is mm. going to show that form of leadership who's going to do this properly? Otherwise, you just make a few moves or here, here or there. Well, you're not going to go anywhere. I've got a belief on this that they're just trying to get through these remaining nine matches of the season with their current structure because to, to, to blow it up now in a massive way would actually make what they have to do worse. And I refer there to Adam Simpson, got a contract for, for two more years. Um, from the way I read it, I think he's probably safer than Trevor Nisbet is. Trevor Nisbet is contracted for next season but has been there a long time and there is... Has he been there too long, Dana? Well, you could make the argument they've got comfortable with their decisions and I think to, to Lloydie's point, a lot of the list decisions Ultimately, he's CEO, but he does oversee every department within the club. And I think an independent look at it is, is what I believe they're going to go down the path of and how quickly they can get that together and how that looks and, and, and what that um, forms by way of a panel and, and what um, scope it will have is, is being thrashed out behind closed doors. But, yeah, I believe that they're just trying to play out until the end of the season. Is independence, Jimmy, overrated when it comes to boards and the running of clubs? Because that's what you are ultimately, you sit on a board, there to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's not overrated, to, to firstly answer your question, because sometimes having that heli helicopter view, you can get very close sometimes, and just using the example for recruiting, and other departments have this situation too, you can get very attached to the players re you recruit because you're so invested in them working because it reflects on you. When you have someone who's got that helicopter view, they can step back without the emotion, they can look at it, how's it balanced compared to other clubs, instead of being day to day, which is a great thing, but also it can be a bit of a hindrance in your decision making. Trevor Nisbet, the West Coast CEO that we're talking about, was stopped at the airport a little earlier today. On-field is what we have to fix. I mean, the, the club's in really good shape, except for our on-field performance, and everyone is aware of that. I mean, it's, it's not a great position to be in. We don't like being last on the ladder with one win and getting, you know, 400-point losses. Nobody likes that. But we have to fix it as quickly as we can, but it will take time. The circumstances that Adam's being dealt at the moment are, are unbelievable, really. I mean, when you look back on history, I don't think this has ever happened before. It's unprecedented to have 15 to 20 injuries every week. Will the club okay. be applying for priority draft picks? No. So it's, for me, that is fascinating, and it does speak to a little bit of the entitlement at the West Coast Eagles, talking about the circumstances that have been handed to Adam Simpson. No one's saying that they haven't been unlucky with injuries. We get that. But, Damo, a couple of great columns written by um, Pete Ryan and Mark McGowan this week about the, the decisions that they have made over the last five, six, seven seasons that have led to mm. this position that they're in from a list management point of view. And it begs the question, Lloydie, where, where do they go next? Because there, there is going to be some sort of fire sale, a term that's been thrown around, about how can they get value from some of their older players. And that's where a lot, Sam, will say that they haven't actually hit rock bottom yet. They have to have with the way they're playing, but maybe not yet if you start to let go of some of those older players. And to me, like, I, I, these are the only untouchables for me. Like, I think the rest of the list, uh, yeah, I, I'd, be, I'd be open, open to the rest of the competition to say, how can we get as many kids into this club. And you don't want to be too young because you get belted if you're too young. But I think that... I love Liam Ryan. But, OK, what could we get for Liam Ryan to get another kid 
into the draft. So if someone offered you a top 10 pick for Barass, you'd still say no? Oh, not, not if it was a top 10, no. I'd, I'd move him on as well. But I think that's because that... Yeah. Who's... Because I just don't think they've had good kids because they've given it away through that Tim Kelly...